morning children you must be wondering why i am there with a knife and two apples today i am going to tell you some incident some time back when one day i was watching a television my kids my daughter and my son they came to me there was only one apple in the house that day and they both wanted to eat an apple now i told them you can take half half each but since they are very small they were not able to cut it so they got the knife and they got the apple and they said mama you make it half since i was watching the television so i divided the apple like this i was busy watching the television i divided the apple like this and i said okay take one each this is half this is also half this is also half and you know what they started fighting both of them wanted to take this piece nobody wanted to take this i asked them why they said mama this is bigger this is smaller this is not half so see children such small children could make out that this was a bigger piece of apple and this was a smaller piece of apple these are not two halves they could understand then one day fun when i was very very careful again we had only one apple in the house and they wanted to have that apple again i told them to divide it into two equal halves now they told me mama please do it carefully and divide it in two equal halves so very very carefully i divided the apple into two equal halves and they were very happy they had no problems they took their half very very comfortably they were not fighting so children this was one whole apple very carefully i divided it into two equal parts so the total parts are two this is half and this is half so children today we are going to start our new chapter parts and wholes in this we are going to learn fractions now what are fractions fractions are when things when a whole thing is divided into equal parts i called these two parts this is one half and this is one half but when i did not divide the apple carefully this was a smaller portion and this was a bigger portion i cannot say this is one half and this is one half no only when i divide the apple carefully in two equal parts i can say that these this is one half and this is one half children you are all familiar with our national flag look at it carefully it is rectangular and it has been divided in three exactly equal parts this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part so the total parts are 3 now one out of three part is saffron in color so one upon 3 is saffron in color one out of three parts is green in color so one upon 3 is green in color this is the chakra and we all know about this now do you think white part is 1 upon 3 of the flag come on think no it is not 1 upon 3 of the flag why because there is a blue colored chakra in the flag this is the blue colored chakra so some portion of the white portion of the flag is covered by this blue chakra so white portion is not 1 upon 3 of the flag 
So children, this was about our national flag. You must have seen many other flags of different countries. Many of them have been divided in equal parts and they have got different different colors. So you can collect a few flags of different countries which have been divided in equal parts and find out how many equal parts they have been divided into and what is the fraction of different colors in them. Okay. This is a slab of cottage cheese. I am going to divide it into equal parts. I will try and divide it into equal parts. Since I am not measuring it and doing it, I will have to do it very very carefully. I have divided it into four equal parts. All of you can see these four equal parts. Now children, this part is called quarter or one fourth. Why it is called one fourth? Because it is one part out of the four equal parts. Same way this is one fourth, this is one fourth and this is one fourth. When we join all these one fourths, we get one slab. So one whole is made from four equal parts. These four one fourths make one whole. Okay, now let, a, let me try and divide it into eight equal parts. Now children, it has been divided equally in 8 equal parts. You can see these 8 parts. Now, each part, this is called 1 eighth. This is also 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth and 1 eighth. So, when 8 1 eighths, they join together, we will get one whole. See, eight one eighths, when they join together, we get one whole. So this one thing I wanted to explain to you with the help of this cottage cheese. Okay children, now I am going to tell you about a trick which I did with one of my son. What I did, first day I gave him some sums. He did two sums correctly. So, I gave, I divided one cake into exactly two equal halves and I gave him this portion of the cake. I gave him half of the cake, one upon two of the cake. Next day, he did four sums correctly. Now I had this cake. Next day, now he wanted some more reward. I very cleverly divided this cake into four equal parts. See. I divided it very very carefully in four equal parts and I told him beta since you have done better than yesterday I will give you two parts out of these four then I gave him these two parts so these two parts I gave him and he was very happy he said oh wow I got two parts today. So he got two out of four. 
टू अपॉन फोर पार्ट ही गॉट द सेकेंड डे नाउ थर्ड डे ही बिकेम बेटर इन डूइंग हिज सम्स ही डिड सिक्स सम्स करेक्टली नाउ ही वॉन्टेड मोर रिवॉर्ड नाउ वेरी वेरी केयरफुली आई डिवाइडेड दिस इन सिक्स इक्वल पार्ट ओके दैट आई हैव टू डू वेरी केयरफुली वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके वेरी केयरफुली आई हैव टू डिवाइड दिस इन टू सिक्स इक्वल पार्ट children since it is a very soft cake i'll have to do it very very carefully okay i think i'm doing fine children you have to pay attention that the cake is exactly of the same company and same size there is no difference in the size of the cake only the number of equal pieces are becoming different see now i divided the cake into 1 2 3 4 5 6 equal parts and after dividing the cake into six equal parts i gave him three parts and i said these three parts are for you he was so happy he said oh yesterday i got two parts today i got three parts so he got 3 upon 6 of the cake 3 upon 6 of the cake that day he was very happy now next day he did 10 sums correctly now he wanted more reward and i was very clever now what i did i'll just show you i divided this cake exactly of the same company same size i divided into it into eight equal parts now i'll have to do it very very carefully okay first two parts now i have divided into four parts four equal parts then further i will have to divide it very carefully into eight equal parts yeah i think i'm doing fine yeah cut 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight 8 equal parts and after dividing into eight equal parts i gave him these four parts and he was so happy oh today i got four parts he got four upon eight of the cake so he was again very happy now you have to think whether he got more cake or less cake or same amount of cake on the fourth day or not see children first day he got half of the cake second day he got 2 upon 4 of the cake third day he got 3 upon 6 of the cake and fourth day he got 4 upon 8 of the cake so you can make out that all these amounts are exactly the same so dear children these are equivalent fractions or equal fractions equivalent fractions are those fractions which look different but they represent the same amount see children when i divided the cake into four equal parts and gave two parts to him so i was giving half of the cake to him two out of four when i divided the cake into six equal parts and i gave three parts to him i was giving again half of the cake to him three out of six three is half of six when i divided the cake into eight equal parts i gave i gave him four parts 
I gave him half of the cake which is 4 upon 8. So children, this is all about equivalent fractions. Now we will study more in my next video. Till then, bye. You also divide your cake into equal parts and enjoy it.